so like you are just Kenya the economy is going just not great but not bad like if you finish school you pass your exams you could become a teacher like things were just going in that mid moy way of like lakini sio mbaya sana you know kind of way if you are middle class and then all of a sudden as the thing got more and more repressive fears just started coming i remember uh, i was in mango and then i hear there's this very good looking pastor called reverend paye and all the girls of kenya high school were like reverend paye he's so cool it's so cool but then there's this new word started coming in the first one was demon and then the school went into a panic fever because they heard some girl who had demons and then they were chucked from her what happens is of course a demon when it comes from you it must injure someone or an animal like a pig so the entire school is in a fever of running away from the demon right and so the whole school gets saved i mean overnight so one time I think from two my mom comes and she's like oh I'm not a, no longer a catholic uh me I liked the catholic thing cuz me generally me I need to hear god so I liked it just cuz you can stand kneel stand kneel you finish <laughs> then you go you make up a few okay sins that you did when in confession and then it's over so this it was just you know it didn't have drama so all of a sudden we are in Menengai social hall and my mom is like it's 3 hour services and you know me i was used to going for swimming after church but now this one starts at 10 it goes back at midday 1 and then there's after just drama guys are fainting guys are jumping up guys are being lifted fine and me i'm just like hey who to went and took my mom away so now all there were all these demons which were entering people and then once you remove that demon everything is going to be okay of course the whole truth was everybody knew in the rational place that our economy was just going upside down pus be asharas we're just failing and you have no explanation for the failure and how can you have an explanation when you have a one party state you have one president you have one news so you can't depart from inside that world to stand outside and say it's because somebody is messing with us so you must be your neighbor it's the neighbor the way they are doing those things everyone in a bar used to just whisper cuz you don't can't talk politics in a bar so of course you start getting the feeling that uko inje there are these forces and then of course there were these brokers of the forces so the the brokers basically were pastors their job was to say listen me i control these forces and i've been given power cuz i went to nigeria for bible study and inside nigeria underneath nigeria there are demons who run like a kingdom which is ruling the whole of africa you know and so i came back and i've been taught how to harness these forces so people who have even university degrees they were like you know even me i see it was a demon that is why people are just falling sick that's why i'm losing my beer it is demons okay so people go demon hunting people bring their children to be removed demons and so on and so forth so your heart needs solace fine guys you needed the solace guys you know things were just it was a terrible terrible time right through that period of time how many middle class people of my age saw people die of aids and the whole story get hidden away how many people went mad with stress and demonology how many how many disappeared how many can i count i mean can we count the people we lost really lost like who lost their head inside that crazy place yeah removing demons do i remember sitting in like coming back in after 1992 to hear pastor mark karyuki tell his congregation right god tells to be dutiful to your leader he said so in my church so my mom was like i'm not voting because this multi party thing is now you are not being dutiful to your leader that's where it reached there's no such a thing as analysis there's no such a thing of the evidence of your own eye right Oh, once you remove your demon prosperity will shower upon you and look at me i'm prosperous look at me i'm prosperous and so you are seeing the guys see the guys who live in langalanga in nakuru the church is just go bigger a can you branch just from gukas anywhere else then there's another guy of deliver i don't remember his name who is now even more manoki than pastor mark he me just red eyes and you just utasho mecha devil you will die in the devil so my mom took me to a funeral of a, a guy 
let's let's call the guy Paul. Yeah. So now Paul was much much older than me, and he had a tragic story. There was a tragic story about him, even when I was a kid. It was like he was like 16, and then he had taken the car, you know, Vijana stories, and then he knocked a kid, and the kid died. So now Paul is knocked by a car, hit and run. Or probably it could be coming from a bar. It could be, I don't even know. Nobody really knows the story because he was found dead. So of course, by this time, the parents have so entered this church that their business is no longer a business. It's now empty. They are paying the rent and then they are praying the whole day. So we go for a funeral. Me and the funeral, first, the whole angle of the testimony was... We really don't know if in that microsecond, before that car hit him, he confessed his sins and then he's gone to heaven. But I must tell you that if he did not, he's in burning in hell right now. And there are the parents clapping, yeah, in this ecstasy of madness. So when he comes back to the idea of... of, <laughs> of of being a homosexual. There's that my head there, it just checked out. I was like, okay, so me, I'm gonna be nice to these people. Me, I'm dedicated to a rational, secular life. Hio Mungu simtafuti, na simtaki. I don't want such a God in my life at all. 